In this review video, we're gonna be taking a look at this four slice toaster. Now this toaster also does bagels as well as toast, all right? So I've got some bagels here and I've got some fresh bread as well. So we're gonna be doing one of each. All right, so let's first get a bagel and let's get a plate too. So we can actually put it on the plate afterwards. Let's see what we've got. We've got everything bagels or we've got regular bagels. I'm going to do an everything bagel because I just want a slice of everything bagel. I'm just going to do the top because everybody knows the top's the best. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and seal those back up. I just got these this morning from Panera Bread. They're nice and fresh. We're going to put them off the side. And then we're going to also get a piece of this thick toast bread or not toast bread white bread all right and again this came from Panera as well this is their white um, farmer's loaf I guess it would be called sometimes it's just called white niches or something like that but I got this a thick cut all right so now we got a thick cut piece of bread and then we've got the everything top piece of the bagel and you can literally see it's basically the same size all right, so we've got two different settings on here. First, we're going to turn this on. Uh, we do have the bagel setting, which you can see up there, or you can just leave the regular setting, which is just that. Okay, I'm actually going to go ahead and rip this in half. So there's two slices, so they fit better. And then just the bagel slice right there. Okay, this one, again, is set to bagel, so that is there. This is just set to normal. And you see that it does have the, the little lights light up as it's heating up. This one's on a four, this one's on a three. Uh, again, you can adjust it just by clicking the button. So super easy to do that. It is all digital, which is really nice. You can also add time. There is a 30 seconds uh, add-on on both of these. So I can add like 30 seconds just by tapping it. It's gonna keep it in there a little longer. Or if you like see, if you're watching through the top there, you can easily see it. You can also cancel it. So I can just like hit it and it's canceled. All right, and if you just wanna instantly like push it back down, you can easily put it down. But check this out. It also has a reheat feature. So if you are are um, reheating something, so maybe you toasted it and then you started making eggs or whatever, uh, tofu or whatever you were making in the morning, and it, now it's cold <laughs> and you just need to heat it back up, you can also hit the reheat button and then press it down and it'll reheat it. Okay, so it doesn't continually toast it. Uh, it just reheats it. So. Uh, it doesn't like toast it even more and make it darker. So that's a cool feature on there as well. And again, simple as just pressing buttons just like that. Really nice clean face. I do love the fact that uh, it is set up like this uh, where it does hold the four um, slices just like that. And there's no like side buttons or side angle where it's really protruding out super far. Obviously it is big. This is the size it is compared to my crock pot. <laughs> so you can tell it is big. It is um, basically the size of my crock pot minus the handles. So it is a larger piece, but it does it is super sleek and nice looking. So it doesn't um, look really bad in the overall kitchen design. So that's really what the selling point was for me, as well as you know what it looks like. Now these are plastic, they're not metal. I wish they were metal, but overall, I really love the digital face on this. I really do love the features on it as well. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pop up the bagel and see how that's doing and I can show you. So it didn't really toast it too much because I didn't have it in there the full time. So we're going to actually go ahead and put it back in there so we can actually finish. <laughs> and then, of course, I did put this on reheat. So it's just going to be warm. Of course, it is a little bit flaky. Uh, but we're going to actually put this back in there too because I didn't actually... Oh, it's on reheat. Hold on. <laughs> I want to put it back on actual... Let's see, not reheat. Okay, we gotta turn off reheat and then we're gonna put it back in there. And this one, we're gonna actually put it a little higher because it didn't get toasted because I pulled it out too soon. So we're gonna actually leave that in there a little bit longer. 
All right. So super easy to use. You can see it is a digital face and it does toast really well. I haven't had it toast anything like really odd, like half burnt and half not burnt. Uh, just as long as it fits totally the toaster, which you can see they were pretty large slices that I put in there. Uh, as long as they fit, they're going to get toasted. So I hope you've enjoyed this review video. And I will actually wait a couple more seconds and let you see the nice toastiness of it all. But we're going to try to actually see if we can speed it up a little so you're not waiting here like too long. Because I kept playing with the buttons. So let's see if we can get one of these toasted really good. We're going to cancel it. No, nope, it's still not toasted yet. We're going to have to throw that one back in. Oh, the, the top is a little toasted. Of course, because I keep taking it out too soon. <laughs> so you can see it takes a couple minutes, obviously. The bread is looking nice. Uh, again, it doesn't look super toasted. You can kind of see it in there. Uh, of course, I have mine pulled super close to uh, the... Um, the cabinet here so I can barely see how toasted it is also it's really easy to clean it does have the little trays that you can pull out from the back and you can dump those so all the crumbs that get caught under here are super easy to get out and you can even flip it upside down and give it a little shake and you can get it clean that way as, as well all right so my, this is toasted obviously it's a super hot because it's really really toasted now look at that okay obviously I burnt it a little because I kept playing with it and putting it in and out but you get the idea super crispy and soft in the middle still allowed that stuff uh, let's cancel this one because I keep playing with it too so it's gonna definite oh you know what this is the bagel setting okay so it was just toasting the top so you could see it got kind of burnt a little because I kept putting it in I was telling you it looked actually like it was toasted at the top but it wasn't toasting the bottom because that's the bagel setting all right so the bagel setting only toast one side just so you know all right so it actually shows it right there I wasn't even paying attention <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention guys see how it shows the bagel is actually pointed inward let me well shoot um let me just actually demonstrate on this one so it actually shows that the top needs to be facing inward like this so don't make the same mistake i did and that outer one it says the point inward like this so this side is supposed to be toasted this side's not supposed to be toasted my bad but learn from my mistakes guys i hope you've enjoyed this review and learned something about your brand new toaster take care guys and i'll talk to you soon my name is sabina